Hello, how is everybody doing today? It was a great weekend at sales. Went to some regular garage sales and went to a book sale. This week is our annual big Friends of the Library book sale. It's at an ice rink. They fill it up. There's books everywhere. Found a book over $100. It was really good. Then I'm going to go back later on in the week and get some more. But let's end with that, shall we? And there's a lot of books. It was kind of a book-heavy weekend. But let me show you this camera first. This was a great camera. This was, again, I do this once a week towards the end of the day, probably last sale or close to the last sale. This Canon PowerShot A560, which is just sitting there. Digital camera, really nice. And it goes for like 50, 60 bucks. No problem. Paid five bucks I think which for that is a steal got another camera there the uh, old school cameras are coming back in style this one also works tested it as well in good shape that will sell not for that's not as fancy as the other one that will sell for I don't know maybe 20 30 bucks Got some tapes at that sale too. Look, cassettes. Kids don't know nothing about these. Aerosmith, 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 ACDC. Not big money there, but I kind of bundled it with the cameras. They didn't cost me anything or that much, I should say. Um, got this. Penny Wacky Wobbler. I'll probably keep it. Probably penny enough. Then I'll probably end up keeping that. Just a smorgasbord of books. And with these, I know. I'll show you some of these. These were. This lady had really nice books. Old books. It's kind of books I like. And she said, Make a pile. I'll give you a good deal. And it was a good deal. That bobblehead and probably about 15 books was five bucks. And there was some old stuff like this. Last Days of Pompeii. Not in the best shape, but it's from a long time ago. It doesn't tell me. <laughs> the Federalist. It's a nice book. We'll go over some of these. History of Crime. I almost said something else. Kime? I don't know why I was almost said. No, I almost didn't say that. Epidemics? These are on the show. This is cool. This is from a different sale, but this author, it's hard to find, and there's no copies of this book on eBay. I bought it for 25 cents. It probably should sell for around 30. But these are more books with a $5 deal. Wealth of Nations? Karl Marx? This is a cool old book. Not this one. I'll show you this one first. Lenin. Ooh, this one. Look at that. Look at that. The volcano's deadly work from the fall of Pompeii to the destruction of St. Pierre. It's just a cool book. Old, old, old. Let me tell you. Let me see if I can find what it's from. 1902. It's over a hundred years old. So we did well with the books. Got this set. Well, it's missing one volume, but I actually have the volume that's missing in my store. So we looked out there. Economics. Kind of with similar themes in the books I got. This uh, Capitalism. This was also there. Songbook. Not in the best shape, but songbooks usually do pretty good. For getting them cheap. Look at that. Cleveland Guardians program. Indians. And business forecast. So that's pretty much the stuff that was at garage sales. Oh, these two. They're 25 cents a piece. They're like 10, 10, 15 dollar books. So not bad. D Day and Titan. Camera. I mean, camera. Computer, stop making noise. So let's go to the.
the best find of the week. It's not this. <laughs> this is actually a really good book. It's first edition. I'll probably sell for like 50 bucks. So that was really good. These are all the books from the Friends of the Library book sale. I'm keeping this. George Bush, probably my favorite president. Fun fact. This, if you find this in hardcover, it's worth good money. Paperback, it's still like 20, 30 bucks for both volumes, so not bad. So on to the good, really good stuff. These are manuals about different aircraft from different wars. And I saw, I don't know what I see first. No, I, I saw the best find of the weekend. You'll see that last. I saw that first, then I saw these. And I paid 17 bucks for everything at the sale. There's another book upstairs my wife's gonna take care of that I'm not gonna show you, but they, I saw these underneath that. And these are not like crazy money, but they're like 20 bucks a piece at least. They're cool, just like different information about planes. Let's see if I can do it this way, so you see. See that? Oh, what's in there? Don't know, garbage. That's garbage. So a ton of these. And so these are, some of these I haven't looked them up. They might actually do better than $10 to $20. This one I looked up, this is like $10 to $20. Two copies of it. Super excited, like I said, I spent 17 bucks. But I saw this book first. And you're thinking, Japanese aircraft interiors. I picked it up, yeah, that might be something. Looked it up. This is over a hundred dollar book, right around a hundred, hundred twenty five dollar book, <laughs> and it's exactly what the title says: Japanese aircraft interiors from 1940 to 1945, with great pictures. And it's not old; it's from 2000, and it's just Japanese planes. It's crazy. I don't know why, other than the fact that people like. Airplanes, tanks, anything from war, about war, people like. So, crazy happy to find that. I am going to go back later in the week when you can fill a whole box at this uh, library sale. When you go back the last day, they're trying to get rid of stuff. They're done. You can fill a whole box for a couple bucks. And that's where I just get... When I go the first day, I just try to find the very best stuff, which I did find a very good book. The last day, anything that's kind of remotely interesting, I'll put in a box because you get the whole box for a couple bucks, and I'll probably fill the car with books that day. But that was the great stuff. Tell me what you think. We'll see you soon. Adios.